over your holy name. We honor you, we exalt and lift your name higher. Thank you so much for granting us another privilege, an opportunity to come and pray for our family. We can't get tired of praying of our families. The devil is doing overtime job, overtime work upon the life of so many families. Lord, and we cannot but, Lord, seek your face. We cannot but, Lord, depend upon you to carry us through and to help us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, to stay true in the place of prayer. We are asking and praying as you come this morning. We will, you will hear us. You will intervene and take absolute control of our family our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We will give us revelation in the place of prayer. You will help us to pray aright. You will help us to pray in faith. You will help us to pray believing that we will not just pray to mark time. We will not just pray to fulfill our righteousness, but we will pray with expectation that God will answer in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you you have answered in jesus name we pray amen and at this time we want to begin to reference the name of the lord and worship him this morning for yet another moment yet another monday for the one the lord has given to us we want to bow before him and reverence him we want to give him all the glory that he deserves all the honor that he deserves and all the other Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because many people went to bed yesterday and this morning they are no more. But here we are. He that earth we worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We say glory, honor, the shall thanks to be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. And I thank you for the privilege to come together again this morning to worship and bless your name, to reference you. And Lord, you came to the door and worship and bless your name for everything you have done in our lives. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are God. Lord, we thank you because there's no that like come today. My Lord, God, I worship and bless your name, O oh Lord, because you are our Lord. We give you glory. We give honor. We give you adoration. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the life of my wife. I thank you for my children. I thank you for every member of my family, every member of my household. We adore and worship you. We adore and reference you. We say glory and adoration. Thanks be unto your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we Jesus, bless our We pray. Amen. We are still going to give thanks to God for the way he answers our prayer. It's important we show appreciation for previous prayers that have been prayed and how God in heaven, in his infinite mercy and love, had answered our prayer. Let's open our mouth and give thanks to God for the testimony we have had, for the testimony of the great and mighty God. God. He has done and in the past. Your name for the wonderful testimonies we have had in this program. We well, thank you for the great things you are doing amongst your handmaids. We we'll worship and bless your name, O oh Lord, for everything you have done. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus, my Lord, the King, we bless you. Oh Lord God, we worship you. Oh Lord God, we reference you. We say glory and adoration. Thank you, be to your name, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, you have assured us that if we can pray, you will answer us. Father, we thank you because of all the prayers you have answered in this prayer network. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to go before God and call upon the precious name of the Lord. We can see how the days are so evil, and then we'll be claiming God's promises. This morning is about claiming of the promises of the Lord. And so for every scripture, every prayer point, there will be an attachment of 
the scripture to it. So I'm beginning with the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 54, and I'm taking it from verse 17. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. But let me let me back up to verse uh, 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. We want to pray by starting with the righteousness aspect and cry to God, our children, our wives will be righteous, our children will be righteous, and we ourselves will be righteous. Let me tell us something, brother. Let me tell us something. If we have children who are holy and righteous, they become a threat to their powers of darkness. They become a threat to all this evil power that we hear all around. Righteousness and holiness are protection. They are weapons. And we want to cry to God to make our children righteous. I mean, I don't mean self-righteousness. I don't mean righteousness of I don't have hearing, I don't put on the, I don't put on that. And yet the art is filled with evil. The art is wicked and the art is full of hypocrisy and pretense. Not all those kind of righteousness. Not just external righteousness, real righteousness and holiness of life. May our children be established in righteousness. Shall we pray? Establish us, O oh Lord, in righteousness. Establish us, O oh Lord, in righteousness. Establish us, O oh Lord, in righteousness. According to your word of promise this morning, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, you have promised that in righteousness we will, will be established. Father, I never will approve that in righteousness, O Lord, will be established. Father, I never will establish us, O Lord, in righteousness. According to, according to your word, O Lord. Father, make us righteous, O Lord. Father, make my wife righteous, O Lord. Father, make my children righteous, righteous O Lord. In the name of Jesus, everything that's happening around us in the world, Father, the grace that these children will put away their eyes from all the evil around us. Father in heaven, I pray that you grant unto us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. name we pray. Amen. Now, we go back to that passage. It's so loaded. We are going to ask the Lord. He said, thou shall be far from oppression. Amen. We are going Amen. to pray. My children, our wives, and ourselves, we shall be far from oppression. Whatever that looks like oppression, whatever that resemble oppression, whatever that the resemblance of oppression, the scripture say we shall be far from it. Let the word of God be true. In our life, Father, let the word, the word be true this morning. We pray, O oh Lord. Father, first promise. Word in our families, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you said in your word that we will be far from oppression. Father, I commit my wife, my children, myself, oh Lord, into your hand. And every member of this prayer network, commit our family, so Lord, into your hand. Father, do a yeah. word, oh Lord, do according to your word, oh Lord, Father, that make us far from oppression, oh Lord. Everything that looks like oppression, everything that want to oppress any one of us, Father God, in our pray that you take we us pray. far away from oppression, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In verse 15, behold, no, verse 14, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror it shall not come near thee. Whatever that Amen. look like terror, it won't come near our children. You see, sometimes mm -hmm. you find the children being terrified. You find our wives being terrified, and sometimes the children cannot even speak out what they are saying. Whatever that look like terror, the Bible says that it shall not come near thee. This is Bible. 
And if God's word is true, and it's, I know it's true, and we know it's true, let it be real. Terror shall be completely far from all. It shall not come near us. It shall not come near my friend. It shall not come near my wife. It shall not come near me. It shall not come near any of our family members. Let's cry unto God. The Bible says, For terror yeah, shall not come near thee. It shall not be near the 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 in our life. Let the word of God be the and be real. Jesus. Reality. Shall we pray? Father, heaven, we pray that you will keep us from every killer. Look at terror. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up our eyes unto you. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, committing it our family to you. Father, keep us away from all terror, Lord, in Jesus' it name. Amen. Amen. Verse 15, very clear and very straightforward. Behold, they shall surely gather. So we cannot stop them from gathering. Uh, they shall surely gather. Your family is making progress. They shall surely gather. They will speak against it. Your family is having peace having prosperity, making progress, they shall surely gather and do something. Uh, but the scriptures say, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather against me, whosoever shall gather together against thee, shall fall for thy sake. We want to pray. Amen. The God of heaven shall fulfill the scripture. Every gathering against Pastor Matthew, every gathering against his family, every gang up against Pastor Peter, every gang up against Pastor Bunny, every gang up against all our pastor, Pastor Ali, Pastor Femi Ujo, Pastor Shego, Pastor Mai, Pastor Dako, all our pastor and our brethren and our member, whatever demonic gathering, evil gathering, and then they conjure from the pit of air, they shall fall. You remember that story in 1 Samuel 5, where they brought the ark of God to Dagon. And we are told that Dagon fell by the virtual of the presence of the ark that was brought to the house of Dagon. That's how our enemies will fall. That's how they will break their head and their head will be cut off. We want to pray. They will gather, but they will fall for our sake. Shall we pray? Amen. Father in heaven, you have said it here. You are, we don't have power over them, saying they shall not gather. But if they gather not by us, according to your word, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will rise up in defense of your word in every family represented in this network, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I lift up my family before you. I lift all the family of Pastor Matthew before you. I lift all the family of Pastor Yomi before you. I lift all the family of Pastor Ali before you, Pastor Mike. I lift all the family of Pastor Owolabi. I lift all the family of Pastor Femi Ojo. I lift all the family of Father. Feel your word, your family, so Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. I want to pray for Pastor Matthew and take that scripture to God in prayer. The Bible says that, that uh, they shall surely gather whatever gathering in candle, using candle, using whatever they are using, whatever case there's a case in court, and then there could be strategy and manipulation from the pit of earth to scatter the family completely and disenchant the children. Whatever is the gathering, the gang of, the conspiracy against Akinwomi, an angel, and the father, in fact, the entire family, in the name of Jesus, whoever is trying to just scatter everything, the God of heaven will respond. God will respond from heaven. God will respond from heaven. God will respond from heaven. Oh, let me be angry at the devil and the powers of darkness against him, against his sons, against his daughter, against the wife. Father, even though it's the wife that is causing the God, is making all the God. The Father, we pray this morning that every chapter against this family will not stand in the name of Jesus. 
O oh Lord, we pray that you arise, O oh Lord. I go pray that you arise, O oh Lord. I go pray you arise, O oh Lord, and defend this family, O oh Lord, in all sides, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, defend this family, Lord. Defend Wait, this family, Lord. Defend this family, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. In verse 17, no weapon that is formed against the shall prosper. Amen. No weapon that is formed against the shall prosper. Amen. And the Bible says, and every tongue that tries against thee in judgment shall be condemned. Amen. That is important. Every tongue rising against God's servant, wanting to condemn him to jail, to sell, without, you know, going through process, due process, shall be condemned by God, shall be condemned by God. The Bible says this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord, want to go before God. No weapon that is formed against us, weapon from the home, for weapon from the bush, Weapon from the coven, weapon from the marine kingdom, weapon anywhere. We want to pray all those weapons in the name of Jesus, they will not prevail against us. If they want Amen. us to come sin so that they can enter us, it will not work. We will not sin against God. We will Amen. not sin against the Lord. In the name of Jesus, no weapon. If they want to introduce lady so that they bring us down and we fall into immorality, it will not work. If they want us to become so angry and then we use words that we are not supposed to use, it will not work. We will not fall into the trap of the devil. Every manipulation of the wicked, any weapon, any scenery, any arsenal, artillery or arsenal, they want to use. To fashion a case of it before your throne, no Lord, we pray that every weapon that is formed against my family, that is formed against my life, Father, that with this will have decree, they will not prosper, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every weapon formed against Pastor Matthew, every weapon formed against Pastor Yomi, every weapon formed against Pastor Ali, Pastor Mike, and Pastor. Oh, shit, who we pray, they will not prosper, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Pastor Bani, Lord, before you. We pray, O oh Lord, that every weapon formed against him will not prosper. Every tongue that rises up against him in judgment, thou shalt condemn, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Pastor Kephas, O oh Lord, before you. Father, we pray, O oh Lord. Every weapon for against his family will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, now we pray that you arise, O oh Lord. Father, arise, O oh Lord. Father, arise, O oh Lord. Destroy every weapon the weekend in our lives, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Proverbs chapter 12, verse 21, I told us there's no script. I'm not going to be leading anything from my head. Everything will be based on the promises of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 21. Look at this. Very powerful promise. Very, very powerful promise. There shall no evil happen to the just. Hallelujah. There shall no Amen. evil happen to the just. There shall no evil happen Amen. to the just. Let's see. A parallel passage in Psalm 90, verse 10. Psalm 91, verse 10. A parallel passage as to the one I just read now. A parallel passage. In Psalm 91, verse 10, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near their dwelling. I reject evil. Today, tomorrow, this week, next week, next month, throughout this year, I reject evil. We want to pray. The Bible said there shall no evil happen to the just. By the grace of the Lord, the Lord has made me just. The justified have justified me. And so I am just by the grace of God. The justifier, I am justified by faith. And because he had made me just, that scripture is for me, that scripture is for you. We want to cry unto God. There shall no evil happen to the just. 
according to that scripture. There shall no evil happen to the God according to that scripture. Are you with me? Go to the Lord in prayer. Evil shall be far from your children. Let's talk to God in prayer. My family, my wife, myself, my children, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we bring back your word to you this morning. Father, we bring back your word to you this morning. Your word is here and amen. Father, you have spoken in your word that no evil will come near our dwelling. No evil will come near us, O Lord. Father, I commit every one of us, O Lord, to your hand. Like in the land of Egypt, that night that the spirit, the, the angels of death passed through the land, Father, all the children of Israel, they were spared because they had the blood on their on the on, on the entrance of their houses, oh Lord, God, I would say that you spare us and mark us, mark our family with the present blood of Jesus, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. I am reading from verse 20. Uh, let me take it verse 19. Yeah, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn. Hallelujah. And why? Amen. I will send you corn and wine and oil. And ye shall be satisfied therewith. Hallelujah. We want to pray Amen. that the God of heaven will send everyone wine and coin, oil, and everything. You know what that means? Plenty. You know what that means? That we will not laugh. And he said, And ye shall be satisfied therewith. You know, in many families now, you cannot be asking the children, are you satisfied? You cannot be asking, the, you just tell them, drink water. Just drink water like that. That will not be our portion. The children will heal and be satisfied. The parents will heal and be satisfied. That's the plan. That's the purpose of God. He says, I will send you corn and wine and oil. This is God speaking. And he said, and ye shall be satisfied. There we, God wants us to be satisfied. He wants satisfaction for our family. Are you praying? You want to cry unto Father, God and pray, oh Lord, take away that, take away that, take away that. And you think every pastor will be satisfied. Every pastor will be satisfied. Oh, yeah. and make us be satisfied, Father, in every way. Even if we are still in the land where people are not able to meet up with their daily name, oh Lord, where they will open heaven and make us and make me satisfied, oh Lord, according to your word, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, in heaven, I come before your throne of mercy, Father, I come before your throne of mercy, oh Lord, I pray this day that you help me, oh Lord, and make me satisfied, oh Our Lord, make me satisfied, in the name of Jesus. Hey, my Jesus. family will not beg. My family will not beg. My family will not beg. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, you open heaven for us. You open heaven, oh Lord. Amen. Look at it here. It said, and I will no more make you a reproach among the eating. Can you imagine that, that we go to unbeliever and we say, oh, give me this. And then give me the, and then they look at us and they say, Wait, but I think, but now they pray where we're now. Wait till you, but I don't understand this on that. Because they, they, they commit like this, they pray, 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 and that God knows they even they respond. Ah! Mm. It's an admiration. No, we, no, no. we will not be a reproach. We will not be a reproach. Among, among the Gentiles, mm. I will be a reproach. Hey! No, no, but our pastor will be a reproach. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Father, we come before your throne of mercy, O Lord. Father, do according to your promise for us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, you have said your word that will not be a reproach, O Lord, 
among the Eden. Father, in my community, oh Lord God, level I pray that you help me to stand out, help my wife to stand out, help my children to stand out, so that I will not be a reproach, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, especially the children, Lord. Father, we rest your hand upon them, that people will not report to them. She be, ah, uh ah, -uh. she be the father and the mother said they are praying. She be the father and the mother said they are going to deeper life. She be the they are Christian, they are holy people. What is happening with their children? Oh Lord God in heaven, make my children stand out, oh Lord, in all sides. In the name of Jesus, make my wife stand out, oh Lord, in all sides, oh Lord, in our working place. Father in heaven. Make an example. Make an example. Make uh, an example to other people, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, myself, I pray that you help me to stand out, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to this, verse 20. But I will remove far from you. I will remove far from you the northern army. And I will drive into a land barren and desolate. Can you imagine mm. yeah, the Northern Army? We can refer them here as a ritualist. The Northern mm. Army here, yeah, we can refer them as all these terrorizing people, armed robbers, and all those evil men and women that want to utter. The Bible says, I will remove far from you the Northern Army. The Army. Sickness. Amen. Army sickness that is ravaging the family can be the northern army. Whatever represents northern army shall be pulled, shall be removed far away in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. God will drive, drive, drive them away, send them to a barren and desolate land. Let the Lord fulfill His word. Let the Lord fulfill Amen. His word. Let the Lord fulfill His word. We come before your throne, O oh Lord, we pray. Father, you said you will you will drive. I ask God, my you will Lord. take away from us, O oh Lord. We will drive away all the northern army away from us. In the name of Jesus. And we God we take us away from land of the desolate. A land that not is happening. A land that not is working. Father. We pray that you put us in the position, O oh Lord, that according to your promise, whatsoever we lay our hands upon, we prosper. O oh Lord, going down this morning, we pray, O oh Lord, you will take us away from the desolate land, O oh Lord, the barren land, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everything that we lay our hands upon, Father, bread upon them, and make them prosper, Lord. Father, make them prosper, Lord. Father, make them prosper, Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, help us, O oh Lord, and help us help our children, help our okay. families, O oh Lord, and everything that we have in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Fear not, O oh land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things in Jesus' name. For the Lord Amen. will do in Jesus' name. For the Lord Amen. will do in Jesus' name. I come quickly to Amen. verse 2. The five, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmerworm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that have dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Shame shall Amen. be far away from us, our Amen. people, God's people. The people of God will not be ashamed. Pastor Shegun, Jesus, you will not be ashamed. Amen. Whatever signing your word, whatever reproach consigning anything, it will not come near you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And up here, as I call on uh, Pastor Peter to help us uh, round of this session and call Pastor Matthew. So we are rounding up by praying for restoration. All that we have lost, let the Lord restore. That's our prayer. So you can round off here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we come before your throne of mercy this morning. First of all, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for preserving us. 
We thank you for keeping us away from all evil. We thank you for keep, keeping us away from all things that cause fear. We exalt your name, O Lord, for your word that we have looked into this morning. Father, you have reassured us this morning that you are God, that you are able to keep your own, that even no matter what is happening in the land, Father, you are able to preserve and provide for your own. For this, I will be that exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O Lord, we bring all the families represented in this place into your hand this morning. We pray, O Lord, as you have decreed in prayer, as you have asked in prayer, as you have confirmed and, and established in prayer. Father, let it be so for every family represented in this prayer network, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Anything that want to cause terror, anything that want to cause fear, Father, in every way I destroy them this morning. We have cast them and throw them out this morning from every family represented in this prayer network, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in heaven, we commit, O Lord, the family of Pastor Matthew, Lord, into your hands. Father, we are praying, O Lord, Whatsoever the enemy, the devil is doing, whatsoever manipulation the wicked one is doing against him, against his wife and the children. Father, we pray, we are bidden to not this money. We have cancelled them this money. And I decree that surely they we gather not by you, O Lord. And if they gather because of us, you will scatter them, O Lord. Father, we decree that every uh, prophet, every kind of prophet, that is working with mommy and crew with me, every kind of prophet that is working with the mother, every kind of prophet that is working with the brothers. Oh Lord, go now this morning. We turn all their power to naught in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we commit and kill me, Lord, into your hand. We decree, oh Lord, everywhere that his name is taken to. Father, cause fire to consume, oh Lord, in this mm -hmm. place, cause fire to destroy every plan of the enemy against our kill and angel and the father oh lord in jesus name we decree victory from above we decree mm -hmm. victory from above we decree you are setting your word upon my son there is deliverance and there's only that and the house of jacob will possess their possession father and every everything that belongs to our beloved brother pastor matthew father give you the power to possess oh lord in the name of jesus even the court process that is going mm -hmm. on all the processes that are going on, O oh Lord, going on, we pray that you use our own weapon against our, O oh Lord. She went to court. She brought the police. Father, in heaven, all her, her desire, thinking when she's even boasting that she's any more than the husband. She has been any more than the husband. And yet you want to start dipping hand into your husband's pocket on a monthly basis to start collecting from him again. Father, we pray you use all our weapons against our O oh Lord in Jesus' name. Lord the King, we lift up our beloved brother to your hands. We know it's human, it's not a spirit. O oh Lord, we level every a part of this uh, case in his life. Father, we we quench them and we set him totally free. This morning, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift up us to your means that you have used this morning, Lord, into your hand. <coughs> Lord, I you use your servant to bless us every now and then. O oh Lord, God, now we pray that in blessing, you will bless him. You will replenish him. You will also touch his young family and bring them up in the way of the Lord, that they will grow strong and healthy. It is concerning the kingdom, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. As you are prospering his work, as you are doing one or two things, you are just starting with him. You are not done yet. You are not even uh, started. We are just in the very ferry of what you will do in this life. Father, we pray that you establish him fully, O oh Lord, and let his name be heard all over the world, and let your name be glorified, let your glory be seen in his life, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we commit Pastor Ali into your hand. We pray that you meet him at the point of his name. Father, everything that is open is my work. Oh, I wish I would do this. Oh, I wish I would get that. Oh, I wish I would do this. Father, in heaven, we pray that you will open heaven, O oh Lord, and answer your son speedily, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, glorify yourself in the life of your son, O oh Lord. Glorify yourself in the life of your son, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, right now we pray for Pastor Shego and Pastor Mike, Pastor Femi Ojo, Father, we pray 
that you meet everyone of them in the point of their need and bless them and visit their families, oh Lord. Father, those that are looking for better work, oh Lord, Father, we pray this earth belongs to you. Father, we pray that you open doors before them that no man can shut, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open level for your servants, oh Lord. Open level for your servants, oh Lord, and pour a blessing Lord, for us, oh Lord, that there will be room. There will not be enough room to contain, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I call it all other pastor, Pastor Barney, Pastor um, uh, Benjamin, uh, all other pastors, Lord, I call it, O oh Lord, to your hand. Father, do what you have promised, O oh Lord, for us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And that our brother said he's having a problem with his leg. In the U.S., oh Lord, we now we pray we stretch for the end of early right now. We pray that you will heal him, oh Lord, Father, heal him, oh Lord, Father, heal him, oh Lord. Let him come and testify of your goodness, of your healing upon his life, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, Amen. send me your word that uh, concerning the works of my hand, you command us to command thee, Father, and everyone will command you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, go to the storehouse. Anything that is strong in that body, anything that is strong in that life, Father, take from the storehouse and restore today and put back in place so our brother will be free from those leg pains, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, we're going to commit the rest of this week, O oh Lord, into your hand. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will keep us. You will Amen. protect us. According Amen. to your word this morning, you will say you will keep us in, in all sides. No evil will come before us. No gang up will walk against us. Everything will lay our hands upon this week. You will prosper. You bet upon them. You will prosper, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And everything that the enemy has pulling away from us, anything that the enemy has taken away from us, Father, you are promised that we will restore all the years that the cacao has eaten. Father, this morning we pray, O oh Lord, that you restore back unto us everything that the wicked one has stolen away, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father God, because we know you will answer us. Amen. Glory, honor, adoration, and thanks be unto your name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, our time of first friend, and then uh, because of our time, I will just want to read this first to us. Be, oh, I am the children. Ah, I am I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for yes, signs, signs and wonders in Israel. From the Lord of hosts, we dwell in Mount Sinai. You call upon the name of the Lord on that, on, on that yeah. moment. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you and your children, from this Monday, more than the wonder God has performed before, you have sign and wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. In the left, in the right, in the front, by the back, in every area of your life, in every area of my life, I is for the sign and wonder. For all our people that put it able to attend to this program meeting, yes, they're supposed to get they have been there on Thursday, they have been there on Saturday. They are for sign and wonder. We claim me by the power in the blood of Jesus. You want to ask me who had that power? The power of sign and wonder is for Jesus Christ. He went to the synagogue and he said unto them, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. From henceforth by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Spirit of the Lord will be upon your children. The Spirit of the Lord will be upon you. The Spirit of the Lord will be upon everyone for sin that came upon Jesus Christ. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we shall be set that shall be set upon anybody that sees us, anybody that comes upon us, anybody that is not upon us. In a life full of anybody that read about us, anybody that hear about us, 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 hear
Okay, Pastor Yomi, please just stand up for us. Heavenly Father, we are grateful. Lord, That's conclude with in Second Samuel chapter seven, mm. verse twenty-five. And now, O oh Lord God, the word that has spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house, established forever. Amen. And do as thou has said. Do as we have read this morning. Amen. Do this and Amen. give us money, O oh God. Amen. Let people see the result of constant prayer. Amen. Let see the result of coming together and they begin to ask that we should show them the way. Give Amen. us compensation. Amen. In, in Jesus' name. Amen. You no, know you have answered. Thank you, Lord. Lord it is blessed. Amen. I love our Amen. leader. That all the things that are hurting his heart, in the name of Jesus, you undo them and Amen. give him powerful, powerful testimony to the Amen. glory of your name. Amen. We thank you. you no, know, you have answered. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. We shall meet on Thursday by the grace of the Lord. Let's share the grace together. The Amen. grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the yeah. love of God, and the and friendship of the Holy Spirit, be with us right. now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, the Lord and Master shall follow us all the days of our life and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever Amen. and ever. Amen. 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 As for, from this way, by the grace of the Lord, we are for the sign. I wonder in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. God. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The vision of helpfulness. The vision of helpfulness. And you are asking and you are seeking no, 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 what, what, what can I do today to be of help? What 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 can what, I do in the family of hell? Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 and, and verse 10. For verse for their neighbor. For if one, if they fall, the one will help up his fellow, but woe unto him that is alone. You see that? When he falleth, for he has not another to help him up. To help him up. This is the decision of the Lord that marriage is to, to provide help.